Hey guys, what's up? This is Girider from Funalicious. So today I'm going to review the uh, Nexus 5 that's been recently launched and available, made available in, in India through the Google Play Store. So I have with me the 32 GB black version. So let's jump in and have a look at the device and I'll tell you my thoughts on the device. So here it is, the Nexus 5. It's a, it's a great looking design and it's quite minimalistic. It's got no frills, uh, but a lot of thrills to the design and it's a flat slab design and it's a little over five inch tall and less than three inch wide. Uh, it feels quite comfortable to hold in the hands, the uh, soft corners and the uh, uh, back, the curved, the slightly curved back all add to the economics and uh, comfort in holding the uh, device in your hands and it, it, the design is, not, design is not very flashy like the iphone 5c uh, or even uh, the multicolored uh, nokia phones uh, but it's it's quite neat and it's uh, it's an elegant i would say it's an elegant design and it's shaped to feel small though it's an a uh, five inch uh, it has it has a five inch screen it feels quite small and uh, in your hand and it's quite easy to hold and operate it's not as small as the iphones uh, but it's it's uh, it's not as big as the samsung's as well so uh, it, it's and it feels light the moment i took it out of my box the uh, i felt that it's very light it's light at 130 grams and it's very thin at just 8.6 mm and uh, i like the design very much and i have chosen the black version here uh, it's got a soft matte finish on the back and the edges uh, it's 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 very uh, easy to hold and the, it the soft finish gives an extra grip when you're when you're holding it in your hands and the side buttons are all ceramic and the volume rocker button is quite neat and it's uh, very well placed but the I've got some issues with the power button here. Though the power button is quite, quite responsive, uh, I feel the ceramic edges are very sharp and it's kind of uh, getting in way when you're uh, pressing it for uh, switching on, switching the uh, device on or unlocking it. And uh, it's, it's quite placed on the top, so you like really have to stretch to kind of reach it. And I feel, uh, that's that's something which you got got you got to get used to it. So I have just graduated to this device from my HTC One X, where the button was on the top and I was very comfortable pressing the button on the top and now on the side. So I have to reach with my thumb, not my index finger. So it's a bit little bit of stretch to reach the power button here, and uh, it the sides also has the micro SIM slot and the bottom you find two grills housed between the micro usb port uh, one of this is the speaker and the other is the mic so don't take it for granted that it's kind of a studio speaker it's a mono speaker and the speaker is very uh, mediocre and it performs where at uh, and it, it, it outputs very low decibel uh, volume and at the back you find the uh, nexus logo here and uh, the nexus branding it's very similar to what you see in uh, the uh, nexus tablets and on the top of uh, the back, you find the camera uh, and uh, supported by the uh, LED flash. Though the ca actual camera hole is very small, uh, the camera housing itself is made uh, quite large. I think that's a design statement some people may like and some people may not like. And at the top, you have the 3.5 mm audio jack. And uh, that's about the uh, uh, device. But at the front, you have the gorgeous uh, 4.95 inch display and it's an IPS display it's, it's not AMOLED display and uh, at the top of the screen you have the uh, speaker grill so because I chosen the black version the speaker is also black if I had chosen uh, the panda phone uh, or the white version uh, I would have a white speaker grill I, I, I didn't like that much some people may like but I didn't I didn't like that so I went for the black one and you have the uh, one point two megapixel I think on the front camera and also the sensors on the top and at the bottom you have uh, the uh, multicolored LED notification lights so uh, by default it's just white so whatever notification you get you just uh, it just uh, lights up in white color 
but you have certain applications to make it multicolored notification for different applications as and when needed and these side bezels are so thin at, and that's the reason the phone looks very small uh, the bezels are made so thin that the screen occupies the entire uh, uh, 95 percentage of the front face is occupied by the screen and not the bezels and at the bottom it, the chin is quite thick uh, you have the android uh, specific buttons at the at the uh, uh, on the screen it, it's, it's on screen buttons like it's been there in the nexus devices for quite some time and but when they have the buttons on screen why do they have a bigger chin here so i i think the chin size could have been reduced and the device height could have been reduced ultimately so uh, but uh, it, it's not a big issue so let's go ahead and see uh, what, what else is there so uh, i would say the design of uh, this device is uh, is top of the line so it, it's very elegant to hold in your hand and it, the design is though it's not a head, head turner uh, it, it's a feel good device to have and feel good design to hold in your hand and use it so uh, i would rate the design at around 8 out of 10 and going to the camera <laughs> so this is the uh, camera here the camera is very very mediocre and it performs uh, uh, it's, it's not a good it's not a great camera and i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't rate it beyond uh, five for the camera that's coming uh, here but the issues with the camera is all software based it, it's not something the hardware can't really achieve so uh, we are expecting a patch from uh, google to kind of improve the performance of the camera and uh, uh, well, what are the issues the issues which i really have is the the application the camera application is really slow and uh this uh, time between two consecutive shots is very slow and the time it takes to auto focus on different subjects is very slow so it's a very slow performing uh, uh, uh camera application also the images taken out of this camera are not really great and they mean they are kind of undersaturated and uh, the color the uh the color output is very low and and it's very mediocre performing uh, camera uh, many up new um, features in the camera like the hdr plus which tends to improve the photo uh, output a little better but still i would say that for a device like uh, for a flagship device the camera must have been really really good compared to uh, what it is uh, right now and uh, google has uh, promised to kind of improve the uh, camera uh, performance and also we are expecting a dng support that is a raw uh, raw photos support for uh, uh, google nexus devices so that really improve the camera performance but for time being i'm going to rate it at 5 out of 10 so and diving inside the uh, device so it is uh, the first ever device to come out with the android 4.4 kitkat so the kitkat is a great improvement with respect to ui and performance and it's an all-round um, uh, it, it gives an all-round freshness to the entire android ui uh, ecosystem and the flattened icons the white background on no native applications are, are all really a welcome improvement from what it was uh, earlier and you have uh, it, it's totally got a fresh visual design uh, including the notification on the top uh, you see that a translucent note status bar on top and uh, it's, it's the visual design has been given a fresh overhaul uh, in total and uh, now the uh, google kitkat is all about google search uh, google now uh, can be seen can be placed on your uh, extreme left home screen so it's very similar to htc1 blink feed um, but now google now is a lot more uh, useful than a blink, a blink feed i would say it's got your uh, I mean different cards based on your location and, and it gives you a, a couple of alerts and uh, the actual home screen of this uh, uh, google experience launcher is what they call the google experience launcher home screen has this uh, google search bar on top so you need not kind of uh, click and uh, act, click to activate the search you can ask google uh, you can talk to google right now with google voice commands and you can say okay google okay google What's the time right now in Boston? The time in Boston, Massachusetts, USA is 1.35 a.m. 
So that's how uh, Google, uh, there are 60 different commands to kind of uh, basically speak to your uh, KitKat uh, Android phone. Uh, but it's a really, really great. And uh, I need not fake my accent. I'm, I'm, I can speak to it comfortably with my own accent. The Google Experience Launcher is a great improvement from what it was earlier. Uh, the bottom bar, I mean, which, which housed the uh, app drawer icon and the call icon and the other icon is kind of uh, uh, trans it's totally transparent right now. And you see uh, the bottom bar is not present in your Google Now uh, home screen, and that's a, that's both a visual, a visually uh, uh, visual improvement plus a user experience improvement. Hangout application right now has both your uh, SMS and your uh, chatting chat conversations in the same uh, application. So uh, I feel it's a it's a great idea, but still the implementation is not very robust. So Google uh, Hangout is yet to kind of uh, improvise like the uh, iMessage in iPhone, which kind of, uh, which for example, if I'm speaking to a person in just in my uh, uh, Google Hangouts uh, and then I send an SMS to the person, I must see it in the same thread. Now it's two different threads which being created for uh, the SMS and uh, the Google conversa Hangouts conversations, though it's the same person. So uh, um, small experiencing improvements like this would definitely make uh, the Google Hangouts a better a messaging uh, application and uh, that uh, being said i would say the kitkat is a great improvement from what it was earlier and i would rate it at 9 out of 10 for its uh, refreshed ui and great new applications especially the uh, ok google now voice command but the ok google now voice command cannot be activated uh, with your uh, lock screen on or with your uh, screen you know, asleep so you'll have to uh, awaken your screen and unlock your phone and be on the experience launcher home screen to say okay google let's move on to the hardware part of it so uh, the device is powered by the qualcomm snapdragon 800 clocked at 2.2 with 26 gigahertz uh, speed and it is supported by a massive 2 gb of ram uh, and an Adreno uh, graphic processing unit, which is I think Adreno 330. Uh, that makes it a great powerhouse. It performs really, really good and it's super fast and it's bright and blazing speed. And it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's just one word for it to describe the, uh, describe the performance. It's fast and furious. And uh, it's just the first device to have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 and the benchmark results so far are really uh, outstanding i would post it in my uh, uh, textual review so you can have a look at the benchmark uh, uh, results and uh, this is a great performing device though android kitkat just needs 512 mb of ram the uh, and nexus 5 has got 2 gb of ram just like four times more than what the actual uh, kitkat needs so you got uh, it's a feature proof device that's what i would say and that being said, I would rate the hardware and the under the device as uh, out of 10 out of 10. And uh, coming to telephony, this device supports LTE. So uh, being said that it's kind of a global device. So wherever you go on the uh, on the, on the planet, you would be uh, this device would support the telephony and uh, it's got quad band and LTE support and it's it's really. Uh, um, great support spec wise also the performance wise the reception is very good and the call quality is uh, is kind of decent so i would uh, tell them uh, i would rate it as around 9 out of 10 and uh, the battery performance something which uh, it's kind of debatable so the battery performance is re not really uh, consistent i think it's got 2300 mAh battery but uh, some sometimes it lasts for one and a half days and sometimes it's just uh, f falls dead in uh, in less than a day and uh, i i i really feel that there must be it, it's an it's an um, software issue it's not really the hardware issue and that being said uh, uh, the battery performance i would rate it at around 7 out of 10 and uh, finally uh, in my conclusion, I would say this is a great device. So, at around uh, you can uh, starting at twenty nine thousand and uh, up to like thirty three thousand from the Play Store, 
this is a great purchase you get a top end device at a reasonable price and though it's kind of pricier than what you get in in us uh, it is still a better bargain than the any other devices that's available out in the market so it's got a great processing power excellent design and gorgeous display and that makes it uh, a, an excellent uh, top of the line device that's available in the market right now so uh, i would rate the device at 8 out of 10 so it's marginally uh, falling short of the 9 out of 10 just because of the low quality uh, low performing speaker and uh, the uh, <coughs> mediocre camera in this device so otherwise it's a great device and it's a um, fantastic buy and i would recommend you to kind of buy this device if you are looking out for an android device specifically and this is this device is uh, promising to give you the best of the android experience that's uh, there right now with the android kitkat 4.4 so that's it from my end thanks for watching the video if you like my uh, this video just hit the like button and if you want more if you want to stay tuned hit subscribe and thanks for watching the video again goodbye